What this guy talks about in this video, bro, sounds like every master GM peak player I have ever like listened to when they talk about the game. And I don't know why they're talking about the game, bro, or trying to like teach people the game because it's nonsense to people who have actually like, you know, played it chow. You guys may have heard like the biggest difference in terms of ELO is chow to everyone else, right? You're going to see it here. I'm not going to say anything else in terms of the coaching. I'm just going to talk about the moves and hopefully you guys can make, you know, your own deductions, I guess about how I like feel about it. So we're going to watch a bit of this. And let me just say that this guy promised, Donald, and you can watch the side of the game and stuff. I'm not going to like repeat everything that's said in the video. But this coach said that he can coach in the top 10. This coach, live coaching Donal, who's got insane hecarim mechanics, live coaching him, he is 0-3 in this game. And everything that's said in the video is like commentary. This dude should be like a storyteller, man. He should be like Charles Dickens or some shit. Like, there's nothing or a caster. Like, he should sign up to the L LCS or something, right, for a, for a commentating job. There's very little coaching here, okay? So we're going to listen to some of it. I'm just reacting to this. I don't have anything prepared. I kind of remembered, like, I went through, like, the first five minutes. After that, everything's going to be live. So let's go. Let's get eight. This game, mid's number two. And, uh, I mean, bot is never off limits. So don't say we perma avoid that lane, but they're just not priority. So wait, they're not priority no because what. it's two engage supports? No, because we don't have a guaranteed engage support. So if we play down there, there's not going to be anything guaranteed to happen. But Thresh is good at avoiding ganks. You know, if Thresh backs up, he can just throw the lantern and Ezreal comes to him. So uh, they're pretty safe. They can farm. They're going to scale. Okay. It doesn't mean that we perma just avoid it and don't ever touch the lane or that we avoid the lane when there's a play. I also don't know if he needs Conqueror this game, by the way play to be made because we're never going to just let them get dove if we can prevent it but we don't need to play to get that lane to lead if we play for top someone also said in chat it's eggs it's not me bro you should fucking know snowball the map a little better and obviously mid is secondary since we're going to be playing top side of the map and there's no lane that you have to prioritize like in the first three levels so we can aim to full clear this game like a lane that would be first three levels impact i'm guessing you're thinking like First thing there, like, obviously we think about Evelyn. Is Evelyn going to do anything to you as a Hecarim? Fuck no, right? So you can afford to start blue. Doesn't even really matter about mid because Evelyn is just so shit at level 3. And because Hecarim's got Conquer, he's actually, like, notoriously difficult to actually kill, especially with his W, right? Anyway. Mid. If we have the melee mid, we need to impact that very early. That is the biggest load of horseshit, bro, I have ever heard in my life. If we have a melee mid, we need to impact it early game. Who in the fuck has ever said that or done that in a chow game? You impact a lane because you can kill the champion. This guy says, and I'm pretty sure he's going to say here, that you, like, gank the lane to relieve pressure, bro. Why would you gank mid, especially when you're playing someone like Hecarim, when the enemy jungler could be crossing over to walls and then they counter gank? Uh, like, Hecarim and Aurelian Soul? Bro, if I was playing as, like, the enemy champion, I want to get ganked by those two. Yeah? This guy is assuming that the enemy jungler and the enemy mid laner are just two simpletons, yeah? And if Donald does this in an actual, like, challenger elo, like, when he moves over to Korea, if he does that shit, bro, he's gonna get pumped. If he has Pantheon mid, it's a little bit different, and the enemy mid lane is half HP, and you know they haven't warded a particular side of mid lane. That is very different because the chances of a kill are very close to 100%, probably, right? Pantheon flash W in. Maybe, you know, you, you make sure to time with, like, level 3, like, maybe, or whatever. But hopefully you guys get what I'm saying here, yeah? Because... Okay. The only reason why we're impacting it is so they can get through the early levels without getting poked out. Get, without getting poked out? Bro, they're not going to get poked out if they play mid lane properly. What are you talking about? Like a Zed should be hitting level 3 full HP. He might even have 2 to 3 CS. Like after the first two ways, right? Because against like a Syndra or, you know, another like, like a Zoe, for instance. You literally can't touch the fucking wave. So you just you know, prioritize your HP. So you actually hit level 3 with a power spike. Like, a level 3 power spike is not going to be a power spike if you're fucking half HP, right? And you've gone through two pots already. So I don't know what this guy is talking about. I also don't know, like, what elo he's ever coached to before, but I guarantee you it's nothing past, like, master. I'd even go out on a whim and say that. You guys can fucking lynch me if I'm wrong, but I guarantee you, bro. Because once, once they fall behind in lane, they're going to be behind the rest of the game. That is just, like, fucking so not true, man. Like... And Akali being down 15 CS, 10 CS, is a normal matchup, right? Yeah? You're not going mid to make sure the mid laner survives. If a Zed is down in CS, it's completely normal. Level 6 comes around, the matchup changes a little bit, yeah? It doesn't stay like that the whole time. I don't know where that guy has got that shit from, 
I've got no fucking idea, right? No idea at all. Which is why you might see, like, Akali into Victor, or Akali maybe, like, into Azir, yeah? Or Assassins into these mages. Early game is going to be annoying, but at level 6, you get back into the game. As long as they're not fucking inting early game, you should be kind of chilling, right? And inting, I mean, like, you know, just dying at level 2 and level 3. Most people are just going to play back, full HP, good mid laners yeah. anyway, and chill, yeah? So, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty simple game, this game. Azrael just said playing hyper aggro or pathing away from him. Thoughts? I mean, he's not going to be able to. He's probably listening to your stream. If you guys have any questions as well, by the way, leave them in the comments about the moves and stuff. ADC ever to say he's going to play perma aggro against the Nautilus? <laughs> I mean, this one did, and now he's 100 health at two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Tonal, bro. We don't have an early game Renekton in build. We don't have PTA. We don't have Ignite. So we don't need to force like. That two minutes. <laughs> PTA. Did he skip this part? We don't yeah, I don't know if he like put two points in queue before, like just before he hit Raptors or after he did Wolves, but he should just wait a little bit because he could think about invading Eve's top side here. There's actually nothing wrong with it with the Renekton prior, yeah? And Aesol looks as if he has prior as well, so it's a potential play, but I still think full clearing is good, yeah? You're still going to be able to have like a play on top crab, potentially get both crabs in, but it is something to think about, but I agree with him doing Raptors, I think it's fine. Build. We don't have PTA, we don't have Ignite. And this guy's still commentating about like runes and stuff, like my fucking dad can sit here in this chair and like talk about the runes and everything. Oh, hecarim has got 14 CS, here he is moving to red buff it's like a horse race bro so we don't need to force like anything really strong early because nothing is guaranteed so we're gonna play for the full clear right now but he's still gonna be the main focus good thing he is prior so there's two ways you can approach this either you can go through the alcove and play for a lane gang top or you can just play for the scuttle you have prior so either one is valid all right I guess lane gang top would be better because top's slow pushing. Yeah, top's slow pushing. Yeah, that'd be like the fact the coach doesn't even point that out, bro. Play for the scuttle. Yeah. Like here, you know top lane's pushing as soon as you look at that like picture, right? Even though Donal looks at it for just like half a second, I don't even know if he knows now. I kind of know, and I'm not just saying that to fucking be, you know, cocky or some shit, but I do know that's gonna slow push away, right? That so you could actually consider going through top here, yeah, and like counter ganking Eve or waiting until Zinzal ends a W and then going in, right? You like just like one shot the Zinzal, but you can do two things at once. So go through Tri Brush. I doubt Zinzal is warded. So if Zinzal is here, his ward line is going to be back here, yeah. Even if this River Brush is warded, they know he's top side anyway or should do. I guess that's not really the point, but yeah, you can just go through Tri Brush right. to Scuttle Crab and you can still like react to top if anything happens, yeah. All right. I guess lane gang top would be better because top's still pushing. Yeah, that'd be a good way. All right, you got a splash. Don't, 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 don't. Nice. The wave is frozen, and you got a splash. So now, next time you come up here, it's a free. The wave game. isn't frozen. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna take the scroll and reset. You're not gonna go for the double crab. The eighty percent reduction doesn't make it work. I what mean, about the? Mid, so, yeah, what about mid gank? Mid yeah, yeah. He could easily go to bot crab here because his like timing is uh, Gromp, right? So he can recall now and go to Gromp and he'll be there like, you know, he'll have to wait like five seconds. But this um coach gets into this way too much. He thinks you have to like keep clearing your camps on repeat. Like as soon as Gromp respawns, you have to be there. It's like, as long as Gromp isn't like, as long as you're still getting golden experience, man, as long as your Gromp isn't getting taken, you're chilling, right? So he can easily drive through mid here, right? And get the bot crab. Their bot lane's on a reset. Evelyn as well is going to be behind essentially two crabs because Evelyn is still going to do the same thing, right? In terms of Krugs and Raptors out of base. Hecarim's going to go Gromp Bulls. Evelyn is never going to invade him here. So he can easily just like drive by mid and go to bot crab and get it into a base Gromp Bulls, Raptors, Krugs. And we play the game again, yeah? This is really important here, yeah, when you guys look at this. First of all, Donal shouldn't E like this. He should just, like, auto-attack in Q, right? Or Q auto-attack and, like, wait until the Annie's gonna, like, damage him. He shouldn't use W like this. He should just save it right until the damage is actually gonna come in. I think someone wards here, which is really important. Yeah, so see how there's a ward in that brush now? Yeah, really easy to see that's warded, yeah? No, this is over here. So mechanically, there's a couple of misplays there, but he should just, like, be going mid anyway and going to bot crowd. That's the main point of this. Remember, that's warded, by the way. Would you say that's worth? Yeah, it's worth. That's worth, bro. Who got the kill? That's worth, yeah? Giving red buff to fucking Zinzao, yeah? This is worth. Okay, you got her flash too. What are these oh, coaches smoking, here. mate? That's good, yeah? Would you say that's death, worth? Dude. Folks, about word from bot now.
I mean, look at top lane too. That's the big thing you have to focus about. He's got the wave slow pushing, so Zin's missing a lot. I don't know why he's killing the wave, but it's good. We clear upward from bot now. Him also talking about top lane, bro. Like, he's just going on about lanes, man. Which is pretty much like how every pro player, for the most part, plays bad as well. Yeah, like junglers anyway. Yeah, like rank one over here, who I coached on a team because I helped out and split one with a team. It was rank one. And I remember coaching him in solo queue and he played really well. And when it came to actual scrims and shit, he played really bad. And that's not on his part. He's actual a fucking freak. And the main reason is, is because he thinks like this. Because coaches in pro play, bro, are all fucking master peakers. And you guys are going to be like, bro, how can you say that? Like, so toxic or whatever, like master is still above diamond. Master is closer to gold four than it is challenger. Yeah? And hopefully you will see, okay, let's just keep playing it. Yeah. Hopefully you will see, though, like, over the course of this video, why that is. But I'm saying this not because I want to be toxic. Please don't, like, take that the wrong way. I'm saying this because people are spending fucking money to, like, get coaching from people, and they're using their time, right? That shit's valuable. If you're going to pay for something, it's got to be good, yeah? So I don't even know why Master Peakers or people who have only coached a Diamond or Platinum Elo or Master, it's all the same shit, remember? Even, like, kind of parade to be coaches. That's just my take on it, but it's because I care about what you guys watch and what you consume in terms of content. That's why I'm doing this to give you actual like good stuff that this guy doesn't give Donald. Tempo with all our camps, Evelyn's wasting her time for the bot crab, so she's probably gonna full clear up again without further work. He's got the wave still pushing. It's worth. I mean, look at top lane too. Was Evelyn here? Evelyn was here, right? No, this is over here. Yeah, so Evelyn should 100% recall, right? 3.58, her Krugs are up in, what, like 15 seconds? So Evelyn should 100% recall and should be 2 seconds above her ahead of Hecarim, yeah, in terms of tempo, right? So her going to Bot Crab is a massive mistake, but that's why fucking NA junglers, you can always beat them, right? Unless it's like maybe Tarzan. Did you say that's worth? Yeah, it's worth. I mean, look at top lane too. That's the big thing you have to focus about. He's got the wave slow pushing, so Zin's missing a lot. I don't know why he's queuing the wave, but it's good. We clear upward from bot now. And we're on tempo with all our camps. Evelyn's wasting her time for the bot crab. So she's probably going to full clear up again without resetting. And this means we have a huge tempo advantage because we bought already. So if we meet her on top side, we're going to kill her. This is like the first good thing he's actually said, like thinking about her top side, right? Because if Evelyn goes like Krugs to Raptors here or uh, recalls, if she recalls, by the way, recalling is still good here, but she has to go top to bot. Can you guys see this? So if Evelyn was to recall, she has to go Gromp, Wolves, and back down a bot. But Ozinzao has red buff and might win top, yeah? So the Evelyn definitely should have recalled before. I also think now she should probably think about going Krugs Raptors into a base. But what he's actually telling Diagonal here is actually really good, yeah? Is you have the scaling bot lane. Like, they aren't forced to make play. Again, like, scaling bot lane, like, this is just all commentary, right? Like, I'd just be, like, telling him, you know, think about Evelyn, bot lane, you just go there, like, this is all commentary and descriptive stuff. Plays during lane, and they're already winning, so... Uh, they're not winning. Like, if I'm Kaiser here, especially against Ezreal, this lane should be super fucking free for Kaiser, and she's just gonna outscale and kill everyone. She's 1-0. You know, like, if I'm Kaiser, I'm super chilling, and it's not like they're already winning. I guess Thresh is 2-0, and you could say that, but still, like, if I'm Kaiser, I'm chilling here. That's great. Nice right, in worded tribush, so you have to take that into account. I would um since we do know we have tempo advantage right now, we can look for a play on her blue camps. Um So he should say this, bro, like much earlier, because going to Evelyn's walls is good, or even ganking top. I think even ganking top is good because as long as Renekton doesn't troll his HP bar by the time you get there, um ganking top is good because Evelyn is not here. Remember that, she's bot. So the two plays you have are to go to Evelyn's walls, but it's difficult, right, with mid prior. Or to just, like, gank top through the river. Because I don't think anything is going to be warded here. Remember, the brush that's warded is the top mid brush. And just watch what he tells him here. Since we do know we have tempo advantage right now, we can look for a play on her blue camps after this. What if I went from... So he should go now, bro. He can't hit raptors here. Her walls are going to be up, yeah? So 415, 420 Krugs. 440 raptors. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I don't want to waste time. Like, well, it's not wasted time, right? Because it will help you out. But if you need the timings and stuff, I've got a video on that. I don't know if I'll link it, but yeah, you can even leave a question and I'll answer it for you. But as far as timings go, in terms of these camp timings, Evelyn full cleared top, right? So a Krugs respawn at 415, 420. Raptors 440, unless she started there. If she started Raptors, it's four minutes. But anyway, walls are going to be five minutes for both clears. So walls are going to be at five minutes. Her walls are sitting there right now, I guarantee you. You can go back on the replay again and just go on the NA client and download it. Her walls will be up. 
Then you've got a Gromp coming up right after that. So what Donal should do here, it's unfortunate, like I can't actually see the Gromp timer, but I would just assume the Gromp is going to be up in like the next 30, 40 seconds. So Wolves first here. You can't hit Raptors here. It should be straight to Wolves. Yeah, go for yeah? that. And what he should also do if he has Smite, okay, I thought he used Smite on Raptors, he should definitely save Smite, right, if he has it. So he should definitely just go to Wolves here. He can't go for a mid gank because that top brush is warded, bro. The top brush is warded. You can't gank mid here unless Annie, like, just runs it down and the coach says, yeah, go for that. So both bits of advice here, like, the, the advice to go to her top side has to be more, you know, fucking decisive. Yeah, it's like, oh, you can think about doing this. No, just go to Wolves here, bro. Like, Evelyn's doing Krugs or running to Raptors right now. We can go to Wolves, lead them up to Gromp, and we should be chilling. The only thing there is the Renekton is basing, yeah? So maybe it's just Wolf Camp, and then we just run out, yeah? Through, like, this area. Then we're chilling, right? She doesn't have Flash. She doesn't have Flash, but she has it warded, bro. How are you going to tell him to do this and give up pressure on the map, yeah? How are you going to tell him to do this? And this wasted time now allows Evelyn to go to Wolves and contest them or even do them before Donal gets there, yeah? So just watch. Wow. Alright, I want you to walk on this ward like you're going to your jungle, but go to theirs. Yep, go to theirs. Now Zin is running out of base. Which means what? Well, he spent gold. The mid gank really didn't do anything, and he can still move. And we're going for a wolf camp. Which Evelyn could actually do before we even get there. Because you're ahead of her in tempo, remember? She went for... Wrong. You're on the same tempo now, pretty much. Because you decided to gank mid and show, yeah? For like 10, 20 seconds, that would have wasted. You could have been finishing that wolf camp right now, right? Five minutes, uh, we were like at our raptors. So we go to like wolves, maybe like 5.15. 5.30, we've done our wolf camp, yeah? And now we're running out where Donal is right now. And it's super chill, yeah? And if Zinzel has based... Maybe, like, her Gromp is up in five seconds. I don't actually know the timer. Meaning, but hopefully all that makes sense. Buy and you're ahead of her on clear, or she didn't reset and she didn't buy yet. She didn't buy yet. She didn't buy yet, so you win. But be careful of Annie. So, Evelyn here, right? Like, yes, this dude is right in terms of she should be... Well, first of all, she's recoil, right? And got Blasting on Dark still. So the 1v1, one one one, like, isn't really that conclusive here. Donal, yes, all right. Like, he uses his abilities on the um, on the wolf camp and stuff. But the danger here is, like, Annie's going to move and Xin Zhao's going to move as well because they fucking see him. You want to do this camp without being seen, which is why he should go before Raptors, yeah? Because fighting here with these two lanes, Annie with Pryo like before, and then Xin Zhao beating Renekton like he was, and he can always, like, run out of base here, right? It's very, very sketchy doing this when the jungler is here. If you had strong lanes, guys, you could easily think about doing this, right? Like if Aurelian Soul had insane prior and Annie's under tower and Renekton is a Zinzao who's really strong, you know, and, he, and he's just recalled and TP back to lane with prior. You could consider doing this, right? It's actually a lot better. But with these weak lanes, you have to be very careful about meeting the enemy jungler because the your champions, your laners have more to lose, okay? Because they've got more minions in front of them. I wouldn't have eaten that Raptor. Okay, you have to go up toward top. Go up toward top because their mid's coming. Isn't Zen coming too? I mean, Zin's coming from that direction, so if you go up... And I saw the comments to this video, and bro, I'm I'm actual dumbfounded, man. Predicts a vast amount of enemy plays. Immediately shows the impact his playstyle gets and then dips. He's a legit, solid coach. <laughs> Most deaths were caused by Dante's forcing plays that shouldn't exist, bro. One of the best coaches I've listened to. It's pretty insightful. What, to like gank a lane you're never going to kill because it's warded and to mistime your invade. Really good, yeah? Straight up Tarzan, he isn't. Any, any, anyway, fuck me. Right, let's continue. Up toward top. Like, how is Donal going to be 0 2, yeah? With a challenger coach. Challenger coach. This dude's just a coach. I have cancer. Okay. I, no, listen. No, you're right. It's because I thought that the. I thought that the Zen was already on the way. I thought he was coming first. I didn't realize that he reset. No. So go down to our bot side because we're still going to keep a linear clear. We have decent tempo, but that play was a little in. He keeps saying tempo as well. Like, it's yes, it's important, bro, but like it's the only thing he says in this thing. And it's really vague for the most part. Like, yes, I understand what he's saying, but still, it's like the only thing he says. Like, not winning that fight, but it's not a big deal. Doesn't ping Evelyn, I don't think, like, at all here. So I don't know if he's listening to the coach, but he should be pinging our Krugs, right? Or, like, just both sides, generally. We're dragging to be a bot cryo, but we're not playing for that kill. Because we don't know where Evelyn is. Dragon is good. So should I just be full clear? Should I invade her top? Always full clear here. Just clear blue ground walls. Um, well, 
I mean, I can't... Why? Because when you get dragon, they know you're here. And I'm pretty sure they just hit one of those plants, right? So they know they're doing dragon. Very difficult to then invade the bot side, yeah? Very, very difficult, mate. Especially with Aesol again mid. Tell you right now, we'll see what happens very shitty champion early game. Clear. So yeah, the reason, like, that's important is because Hecarim isn't strong enough on his own to, like, 1v2, 1v3. You're not invading our bot side for sure, but we might be able to invade top by the time we get up there on our clear. We'll see how the game is looking by the time we get to our Raptors. The thing is, we're still ahead in tempo. We're 0-2, but we're not really behind Evelyn. Coach Tempo. We're yeah. as a team because we got Dragon. Our bot lane is scaling. Our Again, just commentary. LTS caster. Yeah, casual type shit. Top Casual's... I'm not playing him. He's actually insane. But, um, yeah, just commentary. In our mid is probably about even. Okay, there's Evelyn. So she played freak. I just say Freak. You're, you're ahead in tempo again, so you can play her top side camps after you get yours. So you're, you're keeping a really good tempo this game despite the two... Take a shot every time he says tempo, bro. Two deaths. If you didn't have those deaths, if you had like a killer or two instead on the plays, I mean, you got two flashes in both solo lanes, and yeah. then we had that unfortunate like misplay in their jungle at the wolves. But um, you could be a hadra. Um, instead of just talking and commentating, he should be asking Donal here if he thinks he can do um, rift held on spawn. But the top crab is gone, right? And I know this coach isn't looking at that. I don't think. So the first thing I think about when rift is up at the perfect time when you'd get there is, can I actually hit this straight away? Evelyn should be on a red buff, right? So going bot side. And if you've got good lanes top and mid, you can easily actually run to Rift Held here and hit this. The only thing is, is that if the Blast Cone isn't up, you can't actually hit it without being seen. Now, you can always come around like this, and you can actually get into the pit here without being seen on this side, even if that's watered for them, for the Crab Ward. But it's very difficult here, right, for Donald to do that, and the top rushes might be watered, and then they would actually know he's on it, and he's fucked, right? So you have to do this without being seen beforehand. Yeah, so it's difficult here, but that's what the coach should be telling him. Like, think about doing Rift Held here, but you can't, because it's watered, right? Right? And we can just do Raptors, Red, Krugs, and then into somewhere. Maybe like her blue buff is a fort, but we'll see. Like misplaying their jungle at the Wolves, but um, you could be ahead right now in the huge tempo advantage that we have right now, pathing consistently right now, would be able to be, like, we would, she would just be shut down the rest of the game because we'd perma punish her. I yeah. mean, you can, you'll still invade, but... No, no, I, I, see the vision. I see the vision, I see the vision. Here as well, like, the fact that he goes over... Like, he should just go and gank top, right? Like, Renekton has ult, he has ult here. He doesn't need red buff and Krugs to kill the Zinzao. He should go through Tribrush, right? Because obviously this was warded before, after he did walls. But none of them have spotted it. So again, this is, like, the problem when you just, like, describe shit as a coach and just, like, you know, commentate. And the reason you do that is because you haven't actually done it yourself and helped others, like, do it at the highest level. Because you can't see what we see. So I'm guessing Donal went all the way around, yeah, with like a blast going over to Evelyn's blue buff, and then he just runs here. Try and invade her top center? Yep, yep, yep. Just keep an eye on the map for Annie, because if Annie comes around... Annie's like, rotating up. Alright, then we're not fighting it. Going into a top side is... Try and invade her top center? Yep, yep, yep. It's... It's kind of uh, difficult, right? Because he's on gold. And I still think this is troll, right? Because Zin Zhao's... Like... How do I put this, man? Like, the Hecarim isn't really strong enough, right? And Renekton, when he does this, is going to be on recall, yeah? So he's going to have gold, just like Hecarim. So if I was coaching Donal, I would honestly just, like, probably go to Krugs. Or even recall, and then just run to Red Buff. In fact, recalling is better, fucking what am I saying? I would probably just, like, base here straight away. Because I don't think Aurelian Soul is maybe in a position for me to, like, hit Rift Herald straight away, yeah? You can think about it. For sure, but I actually don't particularly like it too much because Evelyn could be here, right? Yes, you have ultimate and stuff, but we're going to pull Renekton down when he doesn't have ult and he's on gold. So I actually think he can base here, splash the cash, and then run to Rift Herald straight away. And then we're going to be in a better position to fry, right? Because we have spent our gold and we're going to have items. So because we don't know if Evelyn's here or not, it's hard to do this. If we knew, like let's just say she showed on that bottom ward in Riverbrush in the control ward, we could easily hit Rift Herald here, yeah? It's more worth than our whole top side. So him clicking towards blue, don't like it because of Renekton state. And I don't like it because he's sitting on gold. And he's really not that strong compared to Evelyn. Yes, he has Conqueror, I understand that. But with Annie moving over potentially, right? And she's shown, she's shown like a proclivity to do that in the past, right? With like his death around here. Also, Zin Zhao running out of base. Like, yes, he's dead for 20 seconds. But 20 seconds is going to take 10 seconds to run here. And the fight might be protracted enough for Zin Zhao to be there. So I just don't like him clicking here. I would honestly just like reset and run to Rift Herald. It looks a little bit weird. If he had really strong lanes, right? Like a, like mid lane is just crushing. You can easily go to Rift Herald here, yeah? But when Renekton's on a base, I don't know if I like it too much. You know that. Yep. Alright, then we're not fighting it. Oh, fuck me. Alt out. Yeah. 
get your red side. So normally I would have gotten my red before I go in river there, but you ended up making a play top, so that was great. Uh, we see Evelyn was already up here, which means she either skipped uh, Krog. See how slow it is? Like, if, if he was playing, he would have done red buff? Right, like, so he's doing Raptors red and then missing a kill top. It should be Raptors and then just straight running top, right? Like, through Tribrush, because the Scuttle Crab Ward is there. Your red buff's always here, bro. Your Krug's always here. Like, I'm surprised the coach didn't tell him to full clear his top side, to be honest, because that's all he's been talking about, right? Just full clearing, which you you guys know I'm a fucking big fan of that, yeah? I think I should skip red, though, because I have a feeling that Evelyn's invading my red. Like this is really good. Don't all thinking about the enemy jungler. Evelyn can definitely do it, so this is really good. Just yeah, there's a, there's a good like the end. So it's good reset. Our bot just double killed. Uh, we should hover top just in case. I think stay, cancel this back. Because Evelyn should be around here still. I actually haven't watched up until this bit. Um, and the Rift Tail play as well, like him running down there, I just don't like. He can uh, maybe like check it to see if Evelyn's doing it, and then he can just like recall in the brush or whatever. Anyway, this here man is incredibly bad. Like just advice. Um, I've top just in case i think stay cancel this back cancel this back because i don't have vault and i'm on 1300 gold ping the renekton off when zinzao shows you don't win 2v2 because you don't have alts the renekton still hasn't base donal still hasn't base donal was 100 percent correct it's funny when he thinks on his own right after fucking you know maybe a bit of coaching from me and definitely tarzan it's funny how when he thinks on his own he actually makes the right play this guy telling him to stay, bro, because he's thinking about lanes. Tell the fucking Renekton to base. You know? It, it's amazing as well when Donald goes to Korea, bro. He's going to play with laners who know, like, back times and stuff. And, like, how to know, like, how to play their early game matchups. This guy legit has played in, like, gold elo NA and thinks, like, fucking melee mids. They're just always, like, you know, the most killable lanes and shit. It's so weird to me, bro. Because Evelyn should be around here still. Evelyn so should still be around here. So what? So fucking what? Who cares if she's still here? I'm ultless on Hecarim with a massive buy, yeah? I'd rather recall and just like go like straight to Rift like I was saying, yeah? Do you think I should just hover for a, a lane gang? Yeah. Okay. Evelyn getting Rift held is good. Sometimes, you know, you can't do Rift held here. Like I was saying before, it's actually difficult for Hecarim just to go straight to Rift held. That's my first thought because it's more worth than her top side, but it's difficult because Renekton's going to be on a reset and Aesol isn't the strongest champion. Like Annie and Evelyn, even though it's not like the most amazing combo because it's like, you know, um, single damage, it's not like AD and AP. It's still difficult, yeah, to go there. It's a powerful, more powerful combo than Hecarim yeah, without ult. Well, he did have ult, sorry. But even still, it's it's more powerful, yeah, than a Sheen longsword Hecarim. So we can reset. If I just gank this. Oh, stay, stay, yeah, 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 stay, stay. Since Zin's over aggressive, that means Evelyn's here. This was a really good play, yeah. That was really good, bro. And I'm not blaming Donald because he made the right play. I'm just saying, like, what is this, bro? How can you be coaching someone like this and they're 0 3? Every death has been because of what this guy says. What was the first death? I can't remember the first death. Wolves? And then he just died here? I actually can't remember what the first death was. Uh, oh, yeah, level 4, right? Around mid. Telling him to, like, you know, kill the Annie. He actually trolls a little bit there, his mechanics. He should save his E and just, like, Q auto attack, right? And just see how he goes. Then after Annie flashes away, he should just E through mid lane to bot crab, right? That's maybe, like, on Donal. But the rest, man, has just been pretty fucking troll advice. And I'm not saying that, again, to be toxic or anything. Again, you guys are spending time watching this and probably thinking it's really good and stuff. It's really fucking bad. It's pretty bad, but it's okay. The thing is, he's gonna say tempo, bro. Someone gets something on the map against you. There is a counterplay to be made. Yeah. So yeah, there's a counterplay, bro. But if you're against a challenger jungler, yeah, in other words, a really good fucking player who knows that, they're gonna cut off the counterplay. So as soon as you're 0 1 in a game, I believe anyway, guys, like 0 1, you should be able to win the game in 15, 20 minutes. Obviously, it depends about lanes, right? Like if you've got three losing lanes, it's gonna last a lot longer. But if you're out jungling someone because you're killing them and stuff, and you're really fed, and you impact those lanes after that point. The game should end very quickly, which is why in, like, fucking very high elo in, like, Korea and stuff, in EU West, maybe, games don't last that long, man, because of that. Yeah? So what this guy is saying, there's always counterplay. Um, most of the time, there is. But when you're playing against really good players, bro, they're not going to give you anything. You just have to get what they give you.
It's not like the Hecarim can run to Evelyn's Raptors here, right? Because what about if Evelyn recalls, gets a rocket belt, and runs to Raptors to cover him? So since she didn't rift there, if we had to reset, we would already be on bot side and we could get her camps that she skipped because in order for her to have been... Zero three coaching, yep. <laughs> bro, <laughs> this guy, man. Groot too, bro. Top there. It's me on a burner. of full clearing upwards, she had to have skipped at least one red camp. And you can yeah. watch the bottom, guaranteeing she skipped Krugs and she probably... Or not probably, but there's a chance she skipped the Raptors too mm -hmm. because she was there much faster than she... Bro, what is he talking about, man? What's he talking about? Like, of course she's going to be a rift. Like, this guy thinks that Rift Herald isn't played for in high elo. Rift Herald is always played for, bro. Yeah? You guys can go back. I was coaching someone. I think I made a video on it, actually. It was a random Canyon VOD, and this student said, like, I've been watching Canyon. I skipped to, like, like, the VOD started at 7.45, and he was basing, and I said he's going to do walls into, like, uh, Rift Herald, right? That's exactly what he did. Even though his bot side might be up, as long as you know you're not going to lose that, Rift Herald is definitely worth, right? I, I mean, just go and watch the video. There's obviously other things. Like, that's very, like, um... How do I put it? Like, fucking absolute or whatever you want to call it. But, um, but yeah, like, Rift's Hell, like, why would the Evelyn not be there? You know, like, with an Annie mid against an Aesol. Like, I want to abuse Annie 6 as much as possible. So if the Hecarim's going to run down on 1100 gold and hit Rift Herald, fuck no, he's not doing that. Especially when Renekton's using Ignite, I think, and his ultimate. And on a recall, there's no way they're allowed to do Rift Herald. If Renekton had TP, it would be different. But I actually think he might have TP'd before. I don't actually know. Can't remember if he had to TP or Ignite, but whatever. Should have been had she full cleared. A lot of commentating again, bro, like, about what's happened. I want to know what he should do, man. The reason he's 0-3 is because it's very vague. So, now what is she doing? We have to think about that. She she's has resetting and she full reset back top, so she's probably going to come bot for her game. Mm, I feel like she'd be more likely to just, like, refill clear her top. You think so? Yeah. I think Evelyn's going to, like, clear her top, like probably Donal said, and she's probably playing for Rocket Belt here. I think she'll be really close after Rift Held, so I think Evelyn's going to play for a Rocket Belt recall, just run straight bot and kill whoever's bot. She can still play for top. I'd probably have to look at scoreboard, yeah, but maybe, like, a good way to put this is whoever's fed, if you can't make a play on enemy jungle or something, you can either clear towards the side of the map where you want to play or just run there straight away with your Mythic and just kill them, yeah? So it really depends who's strong for her and who she thinks she can kill straight away. I don't think she's going to Rift Top, so I don't think you have to match... That. She should definitely rift top, I think, because, like, Zinzao is... I mean, she could do it for Kaiser, right? Like, if they kill bot lane. But if I'm, like, thinking here, like, the only lane she can really rift is top because she can get the full tower, right? Like, three plates is a lot easier to, like, one-shot the tower because that gives you so much fucking gold than any other, like, uh, tower. So, again, I don't know what he's talking about. Play, But we do have to prevent her from rifting for uh, first tower. She did take your red before she reset, so we have to take that into account. Your mid's dying to support gang, so... Like, kind of commentary, it should just be like, look mid here. Like, look mid, you can't do anything here, right? So probably he should just, like, wait for Krugs and play, like, Trinity Force. But even here, he doesn't have Triforce, right? So it's well, a super, like, 8th position. Uh, Checking Crab is really probably been fine, been but... Been up at that time. And then going to Thingy here, yeah, now just go back to, like, Krugs. We have to hold mid right now. Hold mid. Hold mid. Never run through here, because it's warded, yeah? It's just a standard wave. There's no way he should be, um... Like running mid and picking up this wave and running over vision, he should be running like this. There's less chance this being warded right than this brush right here. Again, we still haven't learned from this, so he should be running around and potentially picking up the wave. If Asol backs, he can definitely pick up this wave. If it's a cannon wave, I actually fucking hate him showing if it's a normal wave. It doesn't really give you that much, and I'd rather be like hitting my level six, seven Krugs, yeah, at this point. Which is why I was happy with him checking crowd. Then he can go back to Krugs because the Krugs time was kind of awkward for him, right? I don't think you're playing for a kill with Nautilus there. How are you playing for a kill, bro, even if Evelyn's here, man? How are you playing for a kill, bro? How are you picking up a wave and showing on vision and giving up pressure? Just Krugs into a recall run to uh, run to Dragon, right? But it's still really difficult to play. I even think, it, well, his bot lane's still doing well, right? But I don't even know if he can contest Dragon. He has to, like, li like literally counterplay the Evelyn here. He can't actually engage because he's I just think it would be bad unless someone's really trolling. He's leaving. And if he's not leaving. Yeah. Like, what is that? Like, Again, what is that, bro? probably going bot with Rift, so we need to get it down there pretty soon. Yeah, and he would have been down here if he just went to Krugs, yeah? So if he just checks crowd, then goes to Krugs, all right, 5, 10 seconds off, whatever. But we could have got, like, an extra 120 gold, and we're still going to be there for Dragon timing, yeah? 39 seconds even now, and he's wasted so much time because so of these uh, instructions or whatever. Next Dragon's coming up as well, so more benefit for... Yeah, counter ganking bot is literally, like, the only thing he has. Yeah. And thankfully in this game, bro, like, his bot is doing super fucking well. In another game, this game's gonna be over, yeah? Also, the Evelyn, I think, should have just, like, bought her Rocket Belt if she had it, or, like, just splashed her cash and just ran bot to try kill them, I think. That was probably the best play, especially if she knew what Donal was doing, like, pathing top. 
Okay, we have to pick up Midwave. We have to pick up Midwave. She's gonna... We have to pick up Midwave, bro. Wait, what? Just hit the fucking Drake. Where's the Midwave? I'm blind, bro. Are there minions here? Is it different on NA? Like, if you're American, you have, like, different eyes to mine? I love that fucking do these ones, mate. Like, I sound like such a cunt, bro. But it's actually for your guy. Like, try I'm just doing it, bro. It's so, like, prove a point to you, yeah? I think the best way to show how, like, bad something is is just to, like, ridicule it. It's just who I am. Like, maybe it's it's cuntish of me. I'm sure it is. But I think it's useful still, yeah? Wave. To pick up mid -wave. So please don't take it the wrong way. I beg you, bro. And if you do, well, you say, stay on master. I was always trying to drag. Oh, he's such okay. a fuckwit, bro. So, well, go Why with... is he not doing Drake, bro? Wait, what? If we don't. I don't think they ever contest it. Like, she can get that tower with Rift, right? I don't know the timing on Rift Herald here. He can, like, click on the Evelyn and check, but just go and hit Dragon. Like, he's clicking mid as if, like, this person's gonna survive, yeah? Okay, we have to pick up Midwave. We have to pick up Midwave, bro. Oh my goodness me, chat. Goodness me, YouTube chat, bro. Get to pick up midwave. She's gonna rip I haven't seen any of this, by the way. Like, from like Rift Hell play. What are you doing? I thought was chilling on drag. Oh, he's, okay. So again, man, like I don't know if Donor would do this shit. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't because the games I've watched him play against like Tarzan and stuff, he's play he plays like close to fucking perfect. Like actual really good jungling. Um, so yeah, it's kind of weird to me. I don't think it'd play like this normally. Drag then, I guess. I don't know why he started it, but. I don't know why you started it. Maybe because the rest of the map is fucked. And you can just get Dragon here, right? Like, why would you go mid? Drops Rift Herald? Like, do the Dragon in like 10-15 seconds with Ezreal. And then you can go mid, yeah, and still pick it up. Like, yes, all right, they're going to get plates, but yeah. So it's free Dragon again. Pretty troll as well, Evelyn using Rift Herald like that, by the way. I don't know the timer on this, but yeah, she probably should have thought about that a little bit more. And also, wasn't Nautilus missing here? Okay, so Nautilus is top, right? Wait, no, nah, Nautilus is missing here. Like, how are you going to go mid anyway, bro? Like, imagine if Nautilus is here and, like, Evelyn just waits for the wave, yeah? So what Evelyn should do is just wait for the wave. Again, I don't know rift timing, though. Maybe it's running out soon. But just hit the fucking oh, dragon. Like, there's no wave here, bro. Like, if they drop rift Herald, who gives a shit? Like, the, the tower's on, like, five plates, yeah? Why do we have to kill rift Herald? They're not going to get, like, first tower here. Like, Ez Ezreal's already got first tower, but you get what I'm saying, right? They're, like, they're never getting mid tower, so who gives a fuck? I don't know why he started it, but Evelyn's top, so it's for her right side camps as well. Clear this pink, and then maybe not. don't overstay. Because their bot might check it, so we can't... Why is he running in here, bro? Why is he not just getting Triforce off bot side? Blue, Gromp, Wolves, Donal. And then you can base, yeah, and play for top tower with um, Ezreal and Thresh, yeah? That's his play. Ezreal's gonna recall okay. soon, watch this. Okay. Never mind, he's not because he's doing this play, right? Right, there's the recall, thank you. Blue Gromp walls into a reset, we get Triforce and we run top side of the map, yeah? How fucking easy is this? Wow, we ran in here to clear vision because it's a team play, bullshit. We ran in here to get a red buff. Fuck this. I mean, like, this play is actually now good that he's here. And the coach says that it's not good. Because Evelyn's, remember, North's top, Evelyn's top. Look at the map here. Clear this pink, and then maybe not, don't overstay. Because their bot might check it, so we can't show yet, or we can't commit to her. Their bot might check it. Bro, the Ezreal is, like, full HP. Yes, all right, he's on a base, and he's, like, kind of missing mana, I guess. But the point is, like, Nord is top, the Evelyn is top, the Zinzo is top, the Annie is preoccupied mid with no ult, I'm pretty sure, because she used it on ASOL. Why would we not just get red buff if we're actually just going to move here, yeah? Like, we might as well finish the job, you know? If their bot can come straight to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go to it. I wouldn't go to it. Mm, we have mid in and Dresh can just lantern me out. So you see, when Dominal makes the right play, bro, like in his head, he makes the right fucking play. When someone else is telling him how to play, it's all wrong. Yeah, Not all wrong, but for the most part. Okay. The thing, also, things that you have to consider is with uh, Raptors down, you're also not getting your camps reset because your whole blue side was up. So you're getting one camp in trade for like three. Um, even though you're still getting yours, they're it just setting their timers back a little bit. Yeah, okay. so. It's not See what he says as well, setting their timers back a little bit. Bro, like. Him going to the red buff and clearing a ward, why the fuck would you not tell him to do his bot camps after Dragon? Like, how does... First of all, like, him telling him to go mid is just the most troll shit ever. And then he's telling him after Dragon. And you can play for her red side camps as well. Play for her red side camps, bro. Like, how do you know they're up? <laughs> like, this guy thinks like this, legit. She's topside, her bot camps must be up. Do you know? 100%? Because if you don't know, you're wasting time if they're gone, right? Like, don't look at Evelyn to see if she has red buff. Did she have red buff mid? Like, when she killed the ASOL? Is the timing right? Like, a red buff will respawn at, like, 11.50, right? If she cleared it at, like, 6.50 on respawn. 
And it's already been a minute since then. So how do you know what's up? Like, this guy should be saying this, right? Even before. So this should just be blue, ground balls. Pretty sure he'd, he'd have trifles, right? Into a recall. Go to Raptors, go to Crows. Just play with Thresh around topside with Ezreal's base. And that's how we play the game at this point, because we're 0-3-1. We have to invest in the most fed, which is Ezreal. So we have to play around his tempo here. And it's not about invading a fucking red buff here or a bot side, which might be up. Like, all of this is just complete, complete, um, complete aids. Don't overstay. Because their bot might check it. Because of your whole blue side. With... I mean, Zen dies here for sure, though. Yeah. It's not bad. So, uh, we cannot let Ezreal die right now. Because he's the only one ahead. So, I just have to keep an extra eye on when he's vulnerable to assess. Like, could Eve be there? Guys, honestly, that's going to do me because i got to do some stuff and I want to go to the gym. But hopefully this was useful. Um, just smash my fucking hand on the desk. Hopefully this was useful uh, to watch. Um, I'm no, I'm, I know I'm like, you know, really blunt and stuff, but it's about showing you guys what actually is Challenger jungling. I really like, I just have a passion for it. The number of like people who I've coached, especially in the last like two to three months, because like kind of the YouTube getting like better. And obviously thank you for, for everyone who's like liked the videos and commenting. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, the number, here we go. The number of people who have like told me who have coached, like, you know, I've had coaching before and after watching your videos, like something just clicked and then, you know, it, it sounds like you actually really know what you're talking about. I'm not just saying that you can join my discord, look at the testimonials, there's testimonials like every day of people climbing tears and stuff. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's because people don't get taught the right shit for the most part. And there are so many coaches out there or players like low elo players who parade as coaches thinking they know stuff man it, it's such a different game bro and hopefully like with what i've talked about here you can see maybe the difference but anyway that's for you guys hopefully i've shown it and elucidated it with my like kind of analysis and watching this game and my reaction um hopefully don't watches this and actually learns some shit or relearns what he was fucking taught um and obviously knows because when he does actually think for himself it's great but yeah thank you guys for watching if you want more videos like this like uh yeah um just let me know um and there's patreon obviously down below hundreds of sessions especially recently uh, uh there's discord and if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching you check out the website xgg but thank you guys for watching the video hopefully this wasn't too toxic hopefully it was still useful and i'll see you in the next one peace